hi all welcome to our channel microbiology made easy so here uh, i will give you the information regarding the bacterial cell wall and then differences between gram positive and gram negative bacteria so cell wall what is the importance of cell wall in bacteria so here it is the cell wall which gives the shape to the bacteria the next which protects against osmotic damages which takes part in cell division so cell division takes place in place with the help of cell wall so rigidity upon bacteria so which is target site for back antibiotics lysozyme and bacteriophages so cell wall which act as a target site for antibiotics and lysozyme and bacteriophages so next which carries bacterial antigen so the cell wall which carries the bacterial antigen which will be helpful important in virulence and immunity so this is the importance of cell wall so next we'll discuss with the differences between gram positive and gram negative bacteria so we'll discuss about the gram positive and gram negative bacteria so here it is the difference between gram positive and gram negative bacteria so here what are the parts present in the gram positive and gram negative bacteria so here cell membrane so both are having the cell membrane so next having peptidoglycan layer so peptidoglycan layer both are having peptidoglycan layer so peptidoglycan layer is more in gram positive bacteria here it is less so thickness will be 16 to 80 nanometer in gram positive whereas the gram negative that is less 2 nanometer in size so next important part is the tcoic acids the tcoic acids are present in only gram positive bacteria so here it is that tcoic acids are there so tcoic acids will be present only in gram positive so there is no tcoic acids in the gram negative bacteria so tcoic acids are two types that is cell wall tcoic acid lipotecoic acids so this is cell wall tcoic acid and lipotecoic acid the difference between tcoic acid and lipotecoic acids so here it is the cell wall tcoic acids which is covalently linked to peptidoglycan layer so here it is covalently linked to peptidoglycan layer so this is the tcoic acids so next lipotecoic acids or membrane tcoic acid which will be linked to cell membrane so here it is linked to the cell membrane so tcoic acid this this is cell wall tcoic acid which cannot be linked to the cell membrane so the importance of tcoic acid is the major surface antigen for gram positive bacteria which is acting as a major surface antigen so next which is on the surface protein so this is the importance of gram positive bacteria so gram positive bacteria has cell membrane peptidoglycan layer a tcoic acid tcoic acid the two types of tcoic acids this is cell wall tcoic acid this is membrane tcoic acids or lipotecoic acids so next going through the gram negative bacteria so gram negative bacteria has having both cell membrane is there next peptidoglycan layer which is less in length thickness is less that is 2 nm 2 nanometer size next lipoprotein so here which is having a lipoprotein which connecting the so here it is a lipoprotein which connecting the outer membrane and the peptidoglycan so which is present in between the outer membrane and the peptidoglycan layer so which is connecting in between these two membranes so next outer membrane so outer membrane has outer membrane protein so this is the outer membrane outer membrane has outer membrane proteins so that is having the lps lipopolysaccharides so which constitute the endotoxin of gram negative bacteria so gram negative has endotoxin because of the lps lipopolysaccharides so lipopolysaccharides will be determines the major surface antigen that is o antigen so which plays a major role that is lps so lipopolysaccharide will be constitute the endotoxin so this is the major difference between the gram positive and gram negative bacteria so next differences between these two so here it will be first character thickness so thickness of gram positive will be thicker whereas gram negative thinner so here it will be thicker it is thinner periplasmic space which is present absent in gram positive here it will be present so next lipids which are absent are small 
which are present in gram negative bacteria tcoic acids only present in gram positive this is important tcoic acids are present only in gram positive bacteria here it is absent in gram negative bacteria peptidoglycan layer will be thicker that is 16 to 18 nanometers whereas gram negative that is 2 nanometer in size so thank you please thank you for listening my videos please do subscribe my channel microbiology made easy so i will give you the details of the microbiology subject if you have any doubts or any information regarding the microbiology you can comment on my videos thank you